question was always confusing to me because I couldn't figure out this one concept. After I found this out though, everything changed for me and I could start identifying market structure with ease. We're going to learn all about this concept after the disclaimer. Now, I used to watch these smart money traders on YouTube and they would be teaching me market structure and I could figure it out. I was like, this is awesome. I know exactly what they're doing. It makes total sense on their charts. But then I would go on my own charts and I would be so confused. I couldn't mark up the structure. Like, how do we know that this is not a pullback? How do we know that this is a pullback and this isn't a pullback and this is a pullback, but this isn't a pullback and this is not a pullback. How can we figure that out? Well, we have to create some type of mechanical rule around it. So it's constant throughout all of structure. So here's the rule. Let's say we have a green candle, bullish candle, bullish candle, bullish candle. What constitutes as a pullback? Price closing below its previous candle. Price closed below its previous candle. So that is the pullback. If price instead just wicks below its previous candle, then that is not a pullback. Price has to close below its previous candle. Same thing with a downtrend. If we see price then downtrending, what constitutes as a pullback? Price closing above the previous candle. It cannot just wick above like this. That does not count. It has to close above its previous candle. Right. So let's look at this example on the real charts. Like right here, we see a change of character right here. Right. Now, how do we know that that is a change of character? Well, we know that this is a pullback. Why is this a pullback? Because price closed above its previous candle right here. This green candle closed above the high of this red candle. And that's what matters. If this green candle did not close above this high, then this would not be a pullback and that would not be a change of character. Here, after price changes character, this is not a pullback because price did not close below its previous candle. So if I replay the chart, in order for a pullback to happen, price needs to close below this previous candle's low. Does that happen? No. So then the new low gets updated to this low. So price needs to close below this candle's low now. Does it happen? No, it doesn't. So then this new low happens and price needs to close below this low. And does it happen? Nope. So the new low gets updated to here. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nope. Not yet. nothing yet. And this is not a pullback because price did not close below any of these candle lows. It looks like it did until it updated on the view. So that's a little trick with the replay tool. You have to wait sometimes, but a candle did not close below any previous candles low here. So this is not a pullback. This is not a valid pullback, which means that in this change of character, this is still the same leg of this price swing because there is no pullback. So let's wait to see when price wants to pull back. And right here, we see a pullback. Why is this pullback? Because price closed below this previous candles low. Okay, so that is the pullback rule. Let's, let's go to a downtrend and explain it some more. So right here, this is not a pullback because price did not close above the previous candles high anywhere. But then right here, it did. So this is a pullback. And then that creates this whole pullback, which then breaks structure right here. And if I replay the chart, we see this break of structure, right? So then price needs to close above this high in order for it to be a pullback. And it doesn't, so then the new high gets updated to here. There we go. Price closed above the high. And you see that a pullback forms. And now the new pullback, price would need to close above this candle high. 
and we see that it did. So then that's a valid pullback. Okay. So if you have any questions, please ask in the discord or leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.